Have you ever seen real live fresh hops? Join me on part four of my epic Sunshine Coast Brewery Tour, where I visited Persephone Brewing Company. Hello everyone, welcome to Happy Hour with Ollie. I'm Ollie, and what are we drinking today? Today we will be drinking Persephone Brewing Company's Goddess Golden Ale. Now, as you guys know, recently I went on an epic brewery tour trip to the Sunshine Coast, British Columbia, Canada, where I did go to visit the Persephone Brewing Company. So before I crack open this bad boy, come take a stroll with me down memory lane. Are these hops? In Greek mythology, Persephone is the name of the daughter of the sea god, Poseidon. I'm also a self-proclaimed daughter of the sea, so how can I skip Persephone Brewing? Also, I had their beers before and I really enjoyed their IPA. So now I'm at the brewery. I'm of course gonna try a selection of the different kinds of craft beer they have on offer. So I've got here um, a Pilsner, a Golden Ale, an IPA, and a Rye Farmhouse Ale. Oh, I can't wait to get tucked in. The first beer I'm going to try is called an Amarillo Pilsner. So this one was recommended to me by the Persephone staff because I told them I like IPAs. This is a very hop forward Pilsner. It's also been dry hot as well. So it's lovely and golden color, see through. Mmm, super hoppy to the nose. So the Amarillo Pilsner, even though it's super light and refreshing, it does not skimp out on taste. That hot forwardness is really indeed true. It's like super hoppy, yet it's not like super robust and thick and it's not too structured. So this would be a great beer to have when you're just out enjoying the sun or doing something that is not super strenuous. This next one that I'm going to test is called Alrighty, this is the one that I've been looking forward to most this one is called Born in a Barn Brett's IPA. Like Brett as in a guy, um, B-R-E-T-T. -T. So this one, I'm assuming he was born in a barn, <laughs> hence his IPA. Hmm, this one is very different from the Persephone IPA that you'll find in your normal liquor stores. So this one is a seasonal one that they have limited on tap. As you can see, it's very cloudy and uh, very golden orange juice looking. I'm really going in expecting citrusy flavors and like just by doing this, Mm, I'm getting lots of citrus fruits on the nose. Ah, uh, tangerine! That's what it tastes like. Uh, super nice, super juicy. 
almost mandarin kind of um, fruit flavors. It has a really nice, smooth, juicy finish. It's not too structured, like it's not thick, ale-ish, like in your face kind of beer. Like it's not gonna punch you in the face, but it's gonna sneak up on you with really lovely fruity flavors and like grab your heart, make you buy it. Lucky last, this one is a rye farmhouse ale. I actually don't really know that much about farmhouse ales and what a rye ale should taste as. So, you know, we're just gonna enjoy this. Yeah. So it's kind of amber color, um, quite clear. I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say that I'm gonna expect it to be crisp. Whatever it is, I expect it to have a crisp finish. Tart. Very tart. Especially after the sweet, juicy IPA. Like, this is fruity as well, but really tart. Sour. Tangy. I know I said I'm gonna expect a crisp finish. No, it's a fruity finish. Um, just for me, every time I encounter the flavor of sour, I'm not so good at discerning the other flavors that should go with it. It's not a bad beer. Ooh, so as you can see, it's a lovely golden amberish kind of color and it's see-through. Lots of froth. Mmm, smells really good. Oh, so nice. The head is very smooth and silky. And along with the taste of hops, there is a lovely multi sweetness. I wouldn't call this beer full body, but it does have a very nice structure. It's very smooth, has very good mouthfeel. And I also feel like the finish, it's not completely dry. I would say this is more on the juicy side. As you drink the beer, right away when it's in your mouth, it's lovely and sweet and has this maltiness and almost nutty quality. And then as it fades away on your tongue, it kind of disappears into a juicy finish that is a little bit more on the hoppier side. So just a tiny, tiny little bit of bitterness. I really like it. You can tell because I just drank half the cup. So my conclusion is I really like this beer. It's every bit as tasty as I had remembered on my trip. And that's why I think beers make the best souvenirs ever. Are you a fan of Persephone Brewing Company? Are you a fan of Golden Ales? Do you have other Golden Ales for me to try? Comment below and let me know. Don't forget to press like and subscribe so you never miss a happy hour adventure with me. Also, look me up on Instagram and use the hashtag happy hour with Ollie. Until next time, cheers mates! Bye!